I got the news Wag Chicago. It's still 11 29, 2020. And uh, I reported this on Facebook earlier, just as a post, but uh, this is the largest solar flare we've had in three years. And uh, luckily, the energy, some of the energy still hit Earth about an hour after this. So you can see this wind speed went from like 300 plus kilometers per second up to about 720, I think. But anyway, that's regardless. That, that means energy did hit the Earth. But the, the Earth is front face, like this one right here. If this would have gone, where I'm circling right now, if that would have gone, that's Earth facing. Earth is this way. Luckily, this one blew off to the east side of the sun. It's huge. If you look at this pattern of how big this explosion is, Earth would be the size of this dot I just drew. That would be Earth right here. Okay? So Earth is the size of the dot right there. If you could add probably 500 dots across this line, that's how big this explosion was. It's an M4 and a half, I think. Yeah, M4.4. You're getting a X flare is the hardest. M class is getting up there, and now you're halfway up the scale. So it says Earth orbiting satellites detected the biggest solar flare in more than three years. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded its extreme UV movie. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick uh, another satellite view of it. Uh, let me keep playing here. I think it'll switch over. Let's take a look. And then I'll go back. So, if you look right here, I already queued it up. This is stereo ahead. It's one of NASA's satellites. It's from the Earth's direction facing the sun. So you'll see the explosion here going off the left side. There we go. Back it up. All right. Here's where it starts. The date is 2020 is the year 1129 on UTC time of 1254 is where we're at right now. 1309, 1324 the explosion starts. So 1324 UTC today, this morning. This thing blows. Now watch it going off the left. Again, Earth is down. If you go down, that's towards Earth. Luckily, this is going to the left. And it's still swiped the Earth with a little bit of energy. Look how he, the sun, by the way, is this little circle in the middle. See the little tiny circle? That's the entire sun. This thing is two, three suns wide. You can put this circle, one there, one there, one there, easily. This thing, the explosion is triple the size of the sun. Now it's four times the size of the sun. Oh my God, you got six suns in there. Okay, this ain't even funny no more. If this would have been facing Earth, if that shot down, we'd have probably a lot of power outages right now, if not the entire area that it hit. Like it, this hit, and by the way, the uh, by, by Africa. Some of this energy hit and knocked all the radio signals out. So even though this wasn't, look at that. Look at the energy coming up. If this would have been Earth facing, we would have had a problem. And see even, see this down here? This is probably the energy hitting us. It hit us a two hour, an hour or two hours after at the speed of light. This energy, bam, hit the Earth's atmosphere. Our solar shield. Look at this. Look how huge this is. That's like 20 suns wide by the time it gets further out in space. And that's that. So, uh, I think I show here. You can see the speed go up around that exact time. It's an hour after. Watch this. It's up higher. I know I don't do a lot of space stuff no more. I did a couple years ago. Just got tired of the data always getting messed with. All right. All right, here we go. You go back right about here. So, 14. I gotta go back a little more. Hand. All right, this is before the event. You see up here, the wind is 425 kilometers a second. So, here, let me circle it. This is where I'm talking about. Watch the wind speed. And down here, I'm watching the time. 
And I'll tell you, and then the sun is coming this direction from the right of your screen here. See these arrows? That's the sun, this yellow part. The sun's way out here. It's blowing this way. Okay? Luckily, the sun's energy blew east, the opposite direction. So, all right, we're lucky on this one. Here we go on the wind speed. It hits about exactly an hour, I think, after. So we're at 1240. Winds are 400. It's about average. The high 300 is about average. All right, it's coming up. 13, 1325. The wind's still around 400. Now the event just happened. Now that's still at the speed of light, at least an hour away. So watch this. This is how you get an EMP blast, by the way. If that thing would have been facing, as soon as that blew up, we got about an hour or two before it's going to hit the Earth. That's how much time you got before you lose the power, if it's that big. It's just weird that the sun is waking up out of this deep sleep a little early, I think. But I don't follow it that much anymore. So, But this morning, this is a good one. All right, so now it jumped to 600 almost instantly. 530, 490, now watch this, about an hour into it, you're going to see the speed, the wind from that blast is going to hit the earth in a second here, watch this, by 670, right there, hang on, whoa, 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 bam, almost double the wind speed, 1445, exactly an hour later, it took the wind from that explosion an hour to get here, and now you see the earth's atmosphere is blocking all that radiation it's trying to but our atmospheres or our radiation shields are down so i bet you a lot of this got in there it is 690 705 wow 730 whoa that's really fast 730 was the peak i believe and that was at 1513 so you're getting wave and wave and wave of energy from the sun this morning. It more than likely affected some people, if not animals. Look, it's sitting at 663. So it's sitting at very... Now the Earth's getting slammed. Look at this. It even blew all the blue shit out of the way. Look how much the wind is hitting the Earth's atmosphere. It's blowing all this stuff out of the way. Now it dropped in about 1,500 hours. There you have it. There's the, the energy coming back. There, it's peaking again. So it, it's like every hour a big wave comes through. It's 600 kilometers a second. And we run out of data. So it drops right now. This is about an hour ago. It's back into 300. So it's back to normal. We're lucky. How about that? And then one last thing on this video. Hang on, let me erase this. We do have a solar eclipse tonight, or a lunar eclipse, I'm sorry. It's going to happen around 1.30 in the morning, it says. Hang on, hang on. The uh, penumeral lunar eclipse, the moon, is about to pass through the outskirts of Earth's shadow, reducing the lunar eclipse... Uh, visible from North America and Hawaii. The best time to look is Monday morning, November 30th, around 9.43 UTC, which is 1.43 a.m. Pacific time. So, 12, about 11.30 tonight. Ten, about three, four hours from now. Right now, three, four hours, right here at 9.43 UT. You, uh, you should be able to start seeing the shadow go across the, the moon. Seems like we get a lot of these lately. Anyways, this is Wag Chicago. I got more videos coming on that. Uh, I'm really looking into this delivering stuff through your nasal cavity up by your brain. That's interesting. Or it's not, but a lot of you uh, made comments and there was a lot of views. So I'm going to do another video on more info that I have found. Creepy stuff, man. All right, everybody have a great night. This is Wags. I'm